Hello everyone. Our today's topic is vendor financing. To understand the meaning of vendor financing, let's under first understand the meaning of vendor and financing. Vendor means the seller who sells the goods or services to the consumer or to the customer. All right. Financing means to lend or to give money to the customer. All right. Now we know the meaning of vendor and financing. Let's understand the meaning of vendor financing together. It refers to the lending of money. It refers to the lending of money. Lending of money here means giving of money by a vendor. Vendor here means the seller who sells the goods and services to the customer. So lending of money by a vendor to the customer. Who then? Who here means the customer. All right uses the same money to buy the vendor's inventory or services it is a trade credit it is known as vendor financing so vendor financing means lending of money by a vendor to the customer who then uses the same money to buy the vendor's inventory or services this is known as vendor financing let's understand this term with the help of an example so there are two parties one is x which is a seller or vendor the other party is customer okay now x is a seller and y is a customer y wants to start a new business for new business he needs 10 lakh rupees out of this 10 lakh he need, he has only 2 lakh rupees in cash now he needs 8 more lakh rupees to invest in the business or to start the business. In that case, definitely he will approach the banks and other financial institutions. But if he approach the banks and other financial institutions, then it will take a long procedure to get the money. So he decided to take a help from X. So he approached Y approached X for the money. X agrees to lend him 8 lakh rupees but only on one condition that he will charge some interest over that agreed amount. Y agree on the condi condition and X lend him rupees 8 lakh rupees. Y with the same amount which he borrowed from X buys the X inventory or services from the seller. Y buys the X inventory or goods or services. This whole process is known as vendor financing. I will give you again uh, an example. I will repeat one more time this example that there are two parties x and y y wants to start uh, uh, x is a seller and y is a customer y wants to start a new business for his new business he needs 10 lakh rupees out of 10 lakh rupees he has only 2 lakh rupees in cash but he needs 8 more lakhs rupees to start the business in that case he approached x for the amount x agreed to pay the remaining amount but only on one condition that he will charge some interest on that amount Y agrees on that con condition and with the same amount Y buys the X goods and services with this with that amount. This whole process is known as vendor financing. Now next topic uh, after this vendor financing is common when traditional institutions like banks are unwilling to lend a business significant amount of money. When banks are not ready to uh, lend them the significant uh, amount of money, this may be simply due to the fact that uh, the business are relatively new and they doesn't have substantial credit because banks always want some uh, collateral security for uh, providing them the loan. So 
A vendor of the business comes in to bridge the gap and create a business relationship with the customers. See, vendor financing occurs only when both the parties X and Y, seller and the customer both have very good relationship. In that case, only vendor financing occurs. Often these types of loans comes with a higher rate of interest than those offered by the banks. This compensates the vendors for the higher risk of default because here the higher risk of default here means because the customer is starting a new business. Naturally, there is a more risk in the newly startups. So vendor financing helps in enhancing the relationship between vendor and customer as it results in mutual benefits. All right. After this, we have next topic that is types of vendor financing. Types of vendor financing, there are two types of vendor financing. One is debt equity financing, the other one is equity debt financing and the other one is equity financing. So first is debt financing. Debt financing means we are the borrower. Borrower here means the customer that is why, according to our example, receives the product or services at a sales price because seller always wants to sell his product with some profit so he always sell the products at a sales price but with an agreed interest charge okay the borrower can either repay the loan or the debt is written off as a bad debt the borrower has two options under debt financing either he can repay the loan or the debt is written off as a bad debt but if when the letter happens the borrower will be unable to enter into another debt vendor financing arrangement with the vendor. If borrower will not repay the loan or unable to repay the loan, then the next time vendor will not allow him to enter into the another agreement. This is known as debt financing. After debt financing, the second one is equity vendor financing. Equity vendor financing means the vendor provides goods and services needed by the borrower in exchange for an agreed amount of borrower stock. Here borrower stock means the, since the vendor will pay in shares. He, the vendor is paid in shares. The borrower doesn't need to repay the loan or he doesn't need to make any cash arrangements, cash repayments. In that case, the vendor becomes an equity shareholder in the company and he will receive dividends and also he can make major decisions in the borrower companies. Such type of financing is more common in the startups. So equity vendor financing is more common in the market. All right. Next is how vendor financing works. How vendor financing works? Since See, once a vendor and customer, both vendor and customer entered into a vendor financing arrangement, the borrower is required to make an initial deposit. We know that initial deposit. The balance of loan plus any accrued interest is paid over an agreed period with regular pay payments. The rate of interest may vary from 5 to 10 percent or be more depending on the agreement between the two parties this is known as vendor financing and how it works thank you